Hello everybody, this is the Lysol. Welcome to my guide for using low gear Jawas in the crate raid to get your 300k points, get yourself on the board and help your guild progress in the raid. Let's get started. So the crate dragon's abilities, he's got a basic that is an AOE damage and single target days. He's got a special acid spray which instantly defeats any enemies that are swallowed. We'll figure out why that's important later. Uh, dispels all buffs on all of your characters. Deal special damage to all of them and inflict defense down, expose poison speed down, and vulnerability for two turns. Poisoned takes away 50% of your health and protection or recovery. You can't recover health with health steal. And you take damage each turn equal to 75% of your total health and protection recovered since their last turn for each time health or protection was recovered since their last turn. So every time you recover health, when your turn starts, you lose 75% of that when your turn starts. Special two is swallow. Swallow target enemy and remove their status effects. It basically incapacitates them. They gain 20 stacks of defiance and speed is reduced by 25% while an enemy is swallowed. When defiance is removed, the swallowed enemy is returned. If the swallowed enemy is the last enemy, the battle immediately ends. This ability starts each battle on cooldown with one turn remaining. And swallowed incapacitates your unit so it cannot be used until it is removed. Unique one, Apex Predator. Damage the crate dragon. Damage the crate dragon receives is increased by 75%. Whenever the crate dragon is damaged, while it doesn't have bonus protection and it doesn't have an enemy swallowed, it gains a 6% turn meter. So every time you hit the crate dragon, it gains a 6% turn meter. Whenever any character takes a turn, the crate dragon gains 1% in rage. When the crate dragon takes a turn, it gains 4% in rage and four stacks of defiance. Whenever an enemy removes the turn meter from the crate dragon, it gains 1% in rage for each 10% turn meter removed. When it reaches 100%, the crate dragon becomes enraged. The battle immediately ends after the crate dragon has taken five turns while enraged or if all active enemies are swallowed. Also, when he's enraged, he can swallow two characters. It's not in here, but he does it all the time to me. Uh, for each 5,000 points earned in the battle after 50,000 points, the crate dragon gains 3% stacking offense. This bonus increases by an additional 3% each time. So he gains 3% at 50,000, 6% at 55,000. At least that's the way that it reads. Although in my opinion, I don't think it quite works that way. I think what's happening is you just gain 3% each milestone. Uh, you need two fearsome defiance. When inflicted with the following debuffs, lose stacks of defiance and remove those debuffs. So this will be important for taking a character that is swallowed and getting it out. Uh, stun and fear are eight stacks, ability block is six stacks, daze is four, blind is three, stagger is two, and tenacity down is one. So, your Jawas, you're using them on offense. Uh, you have two granted abilities, Fire Ballista, deal true damage to target enemy two times and inflict Daze, Stagger, and Stun for one turn two times. So that's two Dazes, two Staggers, two Stuns. So that's four total stacks removed from Stagger, eight total stacks removed from Daze, so that's 12, and 16 total stacks removed from stun or fear so that's 28 stacks so every time that the crate dragon swallows he will at minimum have 20 or 24 stacks it's, i think it's 24 because he gets four base from just taking his turn so he gets four stacks from taking his turn swallows them gets 20. so your fire ballista can remove two turns worth of Defiance and the Swallow's worth of Defiance all in one shot. Uh, then you also get replant explosives. Plant two bundles of explosives around the crate dragon. Max three. Those are the little bombs that have five stacks. Uh, you can only use this 
ability if there are less than three bundles of explosives out. Now the Jawas get a faction bonus. This character has plus 100% max health and max protection, so they're beefier in the raid. At the start of each Jawa's turn, they dispel all debuffs on themselves. Whenever a Jawa ally inflicts a thermal detonator on an enemy, damage that enemy receives from Jawas and thermal detonators is increased by 8% for each active Jawa stacking. So, every thermal detonator you apply to the Crate Dragon for every Jawa that is alive increases the damage that they take by 8% stacking throughout the battle. So the first thermal detonator you throw on them adds 40% extra damage. The second one you throw on them adds another 40%. So you're starting to really, really stack up the offense here. And so what you want to do is you want to manage his enrage, manage the damage on him so that way he's not ramping up his damage too early and stack as many thermals on him as you can while not destroying the bombs until he's burrowed. So the best way to do that with the Jawas I found you need a relatively fast Jawa Scavenger. Uh, you open with, uh, not Jawa Scavenger, Jawa Engineer. You open with Recalibrate, which gives everybody turn meter. Then you use the AOEs to knock down all of the bombs down a couple of stacks. And then basic the stacks for a while until they're all down to one. Then you want to use... As often as possible, you want to use Nebit's Taunt, which will reduce the cooldown so that Jawa Engineer can push your turn meter further. And he's also got the heal. And it will also reduce the cooldown of Jawa, I believe, his AoE, which has a chance to uh, apply stun. So that can remove eight stacks. Now, when you are in the raid, you'll find that every time after the first burrow, you'll get to eight stacks of defiance on the crate dragon. If you hit eight stacks of defiance on the crate dragon, you want, well, if you hit eight stacks of defiance on the crate dragon and the recalibrate is either ready to use or only one turn away from use, you want to use the ballista on the crate dragon. It will drop him to zero stacks. So that way when he does the swallow, he will only go up to 24. Now, when you use that, you're gonna think, oh no, my ballista will not be up in time. But if you time it properly and use the recalibrate, the ballista will come back right before the crate dragon is about to do his uh, acid breath while he has one of your Jawas swallowed. Then, so you'll be able to do two, usually, depending on RNG, you'll be able to do two different ballistas in the same phase. So you should be able to constantly keep the stacks down. It's hard to keep the stacks down with the Jawas, but doing this, you can manage it. And as you're going, you're starting to build up more and more stacks of thermal detonators. I find it's best to hold on to Scavenger's AOE until after you have 25, 30 stacks and you've applied, or 30 stacks of uh, thermal detonators, and you've applied at least 100, if not 150 thermals throughout the battle. So that way, when you throw the thermal and blow them all up, it does a massive amount of damage. This can be done with mostly G11 uh, Jawas. On my baby account, I was able to do it with G11 and G9 Jawas, three and two respectively. I tried to do it again today. I wasn't able to replicate it. I was able to get pretty close, but I've got some footage of that there too. So I'm gonna show you some footage from my stream earlier today of me doing it on my main with my mostly G11 Jawas with a Relic 3 Jawa. 
And with my baby account, with all G11, uh, getting about 258,000. This is very RNG dependent. It's gonna take you a ton of tries, uh, but you can totally do it with G11, G10 Jawas. It is doable, I have done it. You just need to be very patient and you need to be willing to try it a bunch of times. Right, I, what I'm going to do is not attack her until I have a bunch of thermals on her. Because I want to get the most out of my attacks. And I can prevent her from ramping. I am going to hit this though. this keep throwing thermals I don't want to blow up this bomb until he goes under so Beautiful. Get a stun on him. Nope. Get rid of that. All right, I want I need to stall out until Heal up a little bit. Oh, he took down the wrong one. All right, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. This bug is obnoxious.
Thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it greatly. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, Follow me on Twitch at The Lysol. I usually stream around 8 or 6 a.m., depending on whether or not I have to work that day, and that's Eastern Time. Uh, be sure to join the Discord, which is in the description down below. Uh, did I say like, subscribe, comment, uh, watch these videos and stuff? And I really, really hope that this was somewhat useful to you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Godspeed.